I'm Barbara, I'm originally from the Czech Republic. I came to Lancaster University to study for my Integrated Master's degree. And I'm Dr David Townsend. I'm originally from Lancaster and I went to Liverpool University to study for my undergraduate degree in biochemistry. From there I was offered the opportunity to move straight onto a PhD. Following my PhD, I decided to remain in Lancaster as a postdoctoral research associate. I chose Lancaster University for many reasons. Um, one of the main reasons was it's a campus university and I love the feel, the community feel you get at Lancaster. Um, it also rates very high overall university rankings and student satisfaction. I also love the fact it was a new department so we had brand new teaching labs along with young and approachable staff that was always there to help if needed. Many of you may be wondering what is a PhD and why is it relevant to you when you're currently doing your A-levels and only just looking at which university and subjects you want to do. Well, a PhD is a postgraduate doctoral degree. It's one you normally do after having done a undergraduate, such as a BSc, and a master's project. Unlike an undergraduate degree, a PhD doesn't include any teaching or exams. It's a three or four year research project where you can do independent novel research and then at the end you're assessed on the whole thing. So why would you want to do a PhD? Well, in the current climate, more and more people are choosing to study for undergraduate degrees, which means a PhD is a good way to stand out in the job market. Personally, I loved my final year research project during my integrated master's degree, which made me want to carry on with research. In addition to my love for research, I also knew that PhD in chemistry offers many transferable skills, which will enhance my CV for any career path I decide to go down. So my PhD research focuses on finding a cheaper, more sustainable source of nickel to use as a catalyst in chemical synthetic reactions, such as pharmaceutical reactions. Now, palladium is very commonly used in industry as a metal catalyst, but that's very expensive. And nickel cod is another source of nickel that's often used, but this is very air and moisture sensitive and it requires a completely oxygen-free environments, which is quite difficult to set up. So my research focuses on using air-stable nickel-free catalysts, which we can use on the bench top in a fume hood to then reduce within my reaction as cheap sources of nickel zero. So on a typical day, I will set up my reactions in the morning. Once they're finished, I run a thin layer of chromatography to see if there is something different from my reaction to my starting material. If there is, I then run a flash column chromatography to separate out the different fractions that I found in my tip from the chromatography plate. Once I've separated out my fractions, I then use a rotary evaporator to remove the solvent, which then leaves me with a nice, hopefully, product. I then run an NMR and an IR to check the purity and to check whether my product is actually what I think it is. So here I've just submitted an NMR sample. Now NMR essentially uses a very strong magnet to induce magnetic moment of your proton of the molecule, which then allows you to figure out the exact atomic detail of your compound. I use it in my day-to-day -to, -day to figure out if my reaction has given me the correct product and if my product is pure. Now sometimes the product isn't exactly what I expected it to be, um, in which case I need to try and figure out what it is. This is one of the aspects I like about chemistry, it's the problem solving part and it's one of the reasons I chose to do chemistry because I do enjoy problem solving. Um, another reason why I chose chemistry, it's, it was always my strongest subject and my favourite subject at school, so I wanted to carry on enhancing my knowledge. Um, but I also enjoy learning about the world around us and chemistry is an aspect of every day of our lives. So I want to gain better understanding of what's going on around us. We've now moved on to the mass spec and separation suite. As a biochemist, this is where I end up spending most of my time, primarily isolating natural compounds such as olive oil and green tea. I separate the compounds using chromatography, such as HPLC, and then I identify them using mass spec and infrared spectroscopy. One of the biggest pressures I found with not only my PhD but with academia in general is the push to, to publish papers. Uh, that's necessary to validate all of your research. Luckily I've had the opportunity to publish quite a few papers 
in particular two papers in the last three years or so that have very high impact both academically and in international news. This involved the use of polyphenol compounds isolated from green tea to treat cardiovascular disease to try and reduce the risk of heart attacks and also the compounds that we isolated from olive oil in an attempt to treat Alzheimer's disease led us to discover structurally similar compounds already on the market as drugs that we could repurpose for Alzheimer's treatment. Therefore, choosing which subject and also which university is crucial. You want to make sure you enrol on a course that includes lots of research and laboratory experience. You also want to make sure the university and the department encourages the development of independent subject passionate students.